tip of the wind Lost and afraid I'd resign to the streets I'm trolling so hard That I can't feel my feet But I know that Hello, my name is Sarah Elizabeth Charles, and I sing with the group. Christopher McBride, saxophone, alto saxophone. Willem Delisfort, pianist, composer. My name is Marquise Hill, and I'm the trumpet player. I am Anwar Marshall, and I'm the drummer. Hello, my name is Jonathan Michelle. I play bass. Um. Well, the, 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 front, the front line, Marquise and Chris, um, we met while living in uh, the Cab, Illinois, attending Northern Illinois. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm immediately drawn to these two because uh, personality and their, their musical abilities. I mean, they're great players, you know, but who they were and, and who they are is what drew me to them. And um, they've been playing with us, you know, with this group since 07. Yeah. Um, and done numerous tours and gone overseas. And John and Anwar, um, there's another vocalist in Philly, uh, Xenia McPherson, who we play a lot with. And, you know, the, the drum bass connection between those two, you know, is just you can't separate them. If you're going to have one, you just need the other, you know. It's like it's, it, you got to have it. How many of the group have Haitian ancestry that they can trace? Definitely three. Yeah, definitely three. Um, myself, John Michelle, and Sarah Elizabeth Charles. Well, it was wonderful last night in every respect. The performance, the compositions, the, the sound, uh, the video, everything about what happened last night was a real revelation for Maurice Dijon and myself. I, I think that's 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 a that's a great honor and, and compliment. I mean, you know, working hard to play honest music and keeping everything um, as honest as possible, so that you can see when you know Marquise is playing, you know that Marquise means what he's playing. When John starts playing the bass line, you know, it's like, oh man, this is what he's going for, and having everybody go with him. You know, if we're going left, we're going left, right, right. You know, um, Sarah, I met four years ago at Dervish. In, in New York, and you know, I kept on saying to myself, "Man, I gotta make this happen. I gotta, you know." So when they had the opportunity to come to Haiti, I was like, "Well, I got her now, you know. Like, <laughs> I, I can get her now to come and sing." So, really, how it all came about. The fact that with uh, it depends on the group of musicians, the energy on stage. Um, is completely dependent upon who you're right. playing with. Um, and the great thing about this particular group that Will's put together is that there's no ego. Everybody's just about the music and about making it better. And um, one person with too big of an ego can mess up the whole situation. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really, really special when you put a group together. And it's, it's rare, it's not as common as we might think. The, you know, the, the, the whole ego thing, it, anyone with an ego, Will, will stick out and it'll be that presence in the back of your mind like I kind of want to relax but you know you just don't know what it is and it's, it's just bothering you back here and um, I, that's that's one of the most important part you know um, I trust everybody musicianship you know but can we can we sit and have dinner some with me a lot of it just it's it's hand in hand when I think of Haiti I think of New Orleans you know um, the people the the music, the drumming, everything, you know. Um, but to to be able to come to Haiti and perform and, and you know, and reach out to New Orleans and, and, and for them to hear this, you know, or just simply to play in Haiti is just a huge honor, you know. Um, uh, since my parents grew up here and I was first born in America. So it, to come here and, and perform this is just an amazing, you know, honor. The song we just played was an original composition entitled Without a Home. It's, it's dedicated to everybody in, the, everybody in the world 
You know, we all need a place to call home. We all have to have a home. You know, and, and growing up, um, my family, my mom and dad from Port-au-Prince would always tell me about Haiti and, and yes. Pierre Franklin and Delhi Sport. <laughs> and, um, you know, so the, the, the big mission in life is to, is to find a place that you can call home and, and put your roots down and, and do your best. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you can you have the tie. I mean, just of France and and Haiti and of course New Orleans, all all based together. And um, it was yeah, it was just it was just a beautiful, it was a beautiful experience. I know it was special for me seeing Willem, knowing knowing his background, knowing his parents are from here, and 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 seeing him be able to perform at their home country at a festival. So you know that was that was really the the tie that got it with me and just the energy of the people. I mean. You know, it's very rare you go to a concert, you know, and, and people are screaming and, and having a good time. So it was great. Yeah. What's up with Haiti? Like, they, oh, yeah. they are the best clappers in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, oh my, in America, son? It had been a rap <laughs> after the first eight I, measures. Actually, I think we did do a clap in, in yeah. America. And it was like, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Haiti was on point. Like you didn't hear that weird echo, no, like somebody like, messing nope, up. We're not going nowhere. Yeah, we right are there. there. The vibe is very similar. There's a huge mixture and conglomeration of humans <laughs> here. Mm -hmm. um, and when you walk around New Orleans, like the French Creole culture is very tangible. Um, the one, th one thing that I really do connect with um, is the, I don't know if you want to call it, uh, music of the black diaspora or, you know, just black American music in general, of the Americas, including the Caribbean, is that there's just a, a rhythmic connection between like, the culture music of Haiti and the culture music of New Orleans, mm. aka America, aka jazz, aka R and B, you know, the music of Trinidad, the music of Jamaica. It's just there's just this like <clears throat> this pulse of drums that's that connects. And that is what, you know, made it all make sense to me. When I was growing up listening to Compa and Gospel and R and B and then I hear a soca song and then I hear a reggae song and then I hear salsa and then I hear, you know, Afro Cuban. It was all because of that same sort of weaving of the drum you know um and then culturally it's it's kind of similar where it's they're all like takes off of a similar beat you know it's like this a african tradition that was taken and put in, in and put somewhere else for one reason or another mm -hmm. so you know being able to perform here for me of course is is an amazing feeling um my parents immigrated to the states in the uh, 60s and 70s and i was born there and i've been able to come back a few times and now this is my second time back performing so it's really amazing and really a pleasure to uh to be here and perform and as it as an as a haitian american yeah i'd say that um one of the most exciting things about being on this trip as a drummer was just hearing all the you know different takes on uh on 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 rhythm you know and hearing some of the, the same grooves that you would hear uh in the states uh played over here and um it's just like a very obvious connection playing this this type of music i i purposely kept that in mind you know it's like when i'm playing jazz i want to you know swing you know i want to i want to be in the style and playing this type of music i wanted to play more rhythmic you know so Kind of again piggybacking off of what Jonathan was saying, um, but also what Anwar was saying about the Compa band on uh, Friday night that we went to go see. Um, I've been to Preservation Hall in New Orleans, and the vibe at the Press Cafe was so similar to Preservation Hall. And so, in addition to you know uh, to rhythmic similarities and musical similarities and cultural similarities and even historical similarities in a lot of ways. Um, just the vibe <laughs> overall in the space 
reminded me so it was just packed wall to wall that's one similarity but you know everybody's moving everybody's dancing who if you know the words you're singing if you don't you're learning them and then singing and um it's it's just like this amazing uh amazing experience to to be there uh so yeah it's yeah, it's really special to be a part of that. My father's from Port-au-Prince, so being here and experiencing that mm. is really great.